In 1986, Romania was on top of Europe after Steaua Bucharest won the European Cup on penalties against Barcelona. Three years later, they were in the final again, but lost to AC Milan. Since then, no team from Romania has ever got close to a final. So today, I'm giving the 16 Romanian Super League clubs a £100 million per season TV deal for 100 years to see if they can get back to winning ways. I was actually in Romania recently, which is where I picked up this lovely Kriver shirt, so I'm rooting for the boys in blue today. But they won't be representing Romania in the Champions League just yet, as they finish third in what is a very strange looking league table. Let me explain. Everyone plays each other twice to give you this table. Then the top six go into a championship group and the bottom 10 go into a relegation group. Importantly, everyone's points are reduced by 50%. The top six play each other twice with Hernanstadt winning their first ever league title. FC Kriver also came in second place to get a conference league spot. Following me so far, because it's about to get more complicated. In the relegation group, the bottom two are relegated. Seventh and eighth play in a playoff with two teams from the league below, but in this case, the Superliga teams won't so stay in the top flight. The teams in second and first place of the relegation group get a chance to qualify for Europe. However, as Sepsi won the cup, they get a European place. So this season, second and third get a chance. They play each other in a match which Chindia won, and they play third place from the Champions Group, which Kriver went on to win in extra time, giving them a Conference League spot. This is only going to get more complicated as more teams qualify for Europe. So in future, we'll just use this league table. Don't worry, I am still just as confused as you are. Either way, after all of that, Tananstadt lost in the Champions League qualifying rounds and in the Europa League qualifying rounds, but they did manage to get themselves into the Europa Conference League where they came bottom of their group. Not really an ideal start. So by season 10, every club has earned one billion pounds and my boys in blue have put it to good work, winning a majority of the titles so far. The league is now the 13th largest in Europe and they have five European spots. However, the best any Romanian team has done in the Champions League is come 33rd in the league phase, which is really not ideal. So far, the money has just been used to massively inflate player wages. I don't think this guy is worth 155,000 pounds a week. But other clubs are being sensible. As you can see, Cluj are using their money to increase their facilities to make them better overall in the long run. That is a very sensible use of money, perhaps more sensible than the teams who are spending it on a brand new stadium instead. Universitatia Kriver have got their brand new stadium by season 25 with 41,000 seats, whereas Cluj are still in their original stadium. And as you can see, Cluj are now starting to win more league titles. The Champions League is still a struggle for them. It is going to take some time before we see a team actually start to do well. However, they did get to the quarterfinals of the Europa League, losing out to Tottenham Hotspur just a few seasons ago. But it's Hermannstadt to have come the closest to winning. In this current season, they lost on penalties in the Conference League semi-finals to Lask. A little bit more luck and we could have seen the first champions of Europe from Romania. To reach that next step, they do need some better players and the league is moving in the right direction. It currently is ninth in reputation rankings, meaning they can attract some really good quality players. But in season 50, it's dropped down to 12th place. Something has gone wrong in the last 25 years. I mean, by this stage, all the clubs have had five billion pounds. Surely they've got to win something with that. But we just haven't seen any winners, not in the Conference League, the Europa League, and especially not the Champions League. But we have had some finalists who just couldn't quite get over that final hurdle. In the Conference League, the first Romanian team to reach a final was Farul, but they lost to Greek side Aris in the final after a pretty decent run through the knockout stages. Then, two years later, Cluj lost the Europa League final to Tottenham, once again having a really decent run against some solid sides. So whilst that is progress, that all happened 20 years before where we are currently, which is why the league has dropped back down to 12th in reputation rankings. But in another 25 years time, the league actually does make some good progress, moving up to seventh place. Our best hope lie with CFR Cluj, the best team currently in Romania. But it's the other club from Cluj who end up being our first European champions. They beat Dinamo Kiev on penalties in the Conference League final after going on a great run through the knockout stages. But CFR Cluj did have their time, as they won the Europa League against young boys in extra time overcoming some great teams on their way through to the final. But no one has come close to winning the Champions League yet, 
and with just 25 years of money left, we are running out of time. But things don't seem to go well. Both Kriver teams end up losing in the Europa Conference League final, and my boys in blue also end up losing the Europa League final. But Cluj could win us the Champions League. They have a great season coming in seventh place qualifying straight away for the round of 16. Here, they managed to get past Inter Milan, beating them 4-3 on aggregates. They were then drawn against Dortmund in the quarterfinals, where they managed to win 3-1. Frustratingly, they lost 1-0 away from home to Real Madrid in the Champions League semi-final first leg. But with the second leg at home, could they turn it around? Despite scoring in the first minute, they fell behind and lost 3-1 on aggregate. And that's the closest any team got to winning a Champions League. 160 billion spent and not a single Champions League win. So whilst Romania didn't have any major success in this video, did they have major success when I traveled to Romania with my girlfriend to watch them play a football match? If you wanna find that out, that video is on screen for you right now. I highly recommend checking it out.